J. Eric Johnson. John Eric Johnson, 6 September 1901, August 1995, was a co-founder and early president of Texas Instruments, Incorporated. He became mayor of Dallas, a major advocate of the creation of Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport and a philanthropist in later years. Early life. Eric Johnson was born on 6 September 1901 in the Brooklyn borough of New York City. His parents, John Peter and Ellen Charlotte Ponquist Johnson, were both born in Sweden and independently migrated to the United States in the prior decade. Both were naturalised citizens. Johnson was an only child. The family moved in 1912 to Montclair, New Jersey, where at the age of 16 Johnson graduated from Montclair High School. He was a graduate of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute RPI, class of 1922, earning a degree in mechanical engineering where he was a member of Alpha Tau Omega. Johnson married Margaret Fond in Knoxville, Tennessee on 8 February 1923 and together they had three children. Business career Johnson began his career in 1922 at Alcoa as a Raleigh Mill apprentice and advanced to the position of manufacturing superintendent of an Alcoa subsidiary the Aluminum Index Company. He held the position from 1923 to 1927. In 1927 he left Alcoa and entered the auto business attempting a Pontiac dealership, returning to Alcoa in 1929 as a sales engineer. Geophysical Service Inc. During Johnson's last year at Alcoa, J. Clarence Karcher, the husband of Mrs. S. Johnson's cousin, occasionally asked Johnson's assistance with expediting materials orders for a start-up company he had co-founded with petroleum geologists Eugene McDermott and Everett de Gaulle, Geophysical Service Incorporated, a pioneering provider of seismic exploration services to the petroleum industry. In June 1930, Kotcher offered Johnson a job managing the manufacture of seismic instruments at Kotcher's company lab in Newark, New Jersey, and in July Johnson again left Oco. In 1934, Johnson and his family moved to Dallas, Texas, where GSI was now headquartered. Johnson held the position of Secretary of Geophysical Service, which gave him responsibility for all of the accounting, banking, international, legal, manufacturing, personnel, purchasing and warehousing activities of the company. Johnson held this position until 1939. In 1939, the company reorganised as Coronado Corp, an oil company with Geophysical Service Inc. GSI, now as a subsidiary. Johnson became Secretary Treasurer in 1939 as part of the reorganisation. On 6 December 1941, Johnson along with three other GSI employees, Eugene McDermott, Cecil H. Green, and H.B. Peacock purchased GSI. In 1942, he became vice president and treasurer. He held this position until 1951. During World War Roman II, GSI built electronics for the United States Army Signal Corps and the Navy. After the war, GSI continued to produce electronics. The rugged nature of equipment for the oil industry and of military equipment was similar and thus continued expansion into military contracts was a natural progression. Texas Instruments. In 1951, the Geophysical Service changed its name to Texas Instruments, GSI becoming a wholly owned subsidiary of the new company. Johnson became president of Texas Instruments, a position he held until 1958. Johnson was elected chairman of the board in 1958 and held this position until 1966. He became honorary chairman in 1966 through 1977. Under Johnson's leadership, TI invented the integrated circuit in 1958, the electronic handheld calculator in 1967, and the single chip microcomputer in 1971. Civic activities Johnson was a strong advocate for education, serving or leading on the boards of many educational institutions and created alliances to improve local educational facilities. Johnson was a founder of the Southwest Center for Advanced Studies which became the University of Texas at Dallas in 1969. Johnson was the first president of the Dallas Chamber of Commerce, as well as president of the powerful civic group, the Dallas Citizens Council. It was Mr. Johnson's unhappy task to take the podium November 22, 1963, at the former Dallas Trade Mart to inform the waiting crowd of the motorcade shooting of President Kennedy and Governor Connolly. Video slash audio footage of this briefing exists.
In 1964, shortly after the assassination in Dallas of President John Farnhart, Kennedy Johnson became mayor of Dallas, Texas on February 3, 1964, completing the term of Mayor Earl Cable who had resigned to run for Congress. Elected to three additional terms, he worked to improve morale and the image of the city. Johnson pushed for a $175 million bond that financed a new city hall, the Dallas Convention Center and the Dallas Central Library. He was a central leader in the development of Dallas Fort Worth International Airport and served as his first board chairman. Johnson died of pneumonia at his home on 31 August 1995 and was buried at Dallas's Sparkman Hillcrest Memorial Park. Memorial services attended by several ex-mayors of Dallas were held for him on September 5 at Dallas's Highland Park United Methodist Church. Legacy Several facilities bear Johnson's name in recognition of his contributions. These include the J. Eric Johnson Central Library in Dallas and the well-known Eric Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science at the University of Texas at Dallas in Richardson. A trustee of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, he helped fund major campus improvements, leading the institute to name the Johnson Engineering Center and Johnson Rowland Science Center in his honor. Along with two other founders of Texas Instruments, Cecil H. Green and Eugene McDermott, Johnson helped found the Excellence in Education Foundation, which contributed $30 million to the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in 1991. The D.A. Eric Johnson Center of the National Academy of Sciences, overlooking Chris at Harbor in Woods Hall on Cape Cod, is also named in honor of Johnson. He also served as a trustee of Margaret's alma mater Skidmore College in Saratoga Springs, New York. Although founded in 1912, Skidmore started a new 850-acre campus of which the Johnsons largely funded construction in the 1960s.